The controversial Book of Mormon musical grabbed 14 Tony nominations. That's just one short of the all-time record. The production from the creators of South Park has stirred up quite a bit of attention for the LDS Church. Mike Anderson talked to a church member who says it's not all bad. Yeah, Jed, the, uh, the Book of Mormon musical probably still a long way out from considering shows here at the Capitol Theater where we see a lot of Broadway shows, but it still gets a lot of attention here in Utah. So when we heard it got a near record number of Tony nominations, we decided to talk to a Mormon who does musicals. And now you want me one more time. For Stephen Fair, musicals are very much a part of his life. Uh, I've been involved in musical theater since I was in third grade. He's currently acting with the Pioneer Theater Company, playing a couple of roles in Sunset Boulevard. The powerful thing about musicals is, is, is often the music is used to express something that dialogue can't. So when he heard about the Book of Mormon musical... It's just a, a, a built-in coming-of-age story. Produced by South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker, he had some concerns. I know uh, Matt Stone and Trey Parker's brand of humor, and I was afraid that they would do something to... Uh, be offensive. But now that this coming of age story has 14 Tony nominations and several positive reviews, Fair says the added attention the church is getting may not be all bad. <laughs> it might actually get, get people more interested in the church. I don't know. Still, the show's creators admit in their own way the LDS reception won't be all good. I'm sure the Mormons will embrace this absolutely 100%. They're going to <laughs> Give us things. They're going to send us letters of love. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. But this musical actor says he's not quite ready to write it off. I don't think you can really judge a show without actually seeing it. And the LDS Church has been pretty quiet about the musical so far. The Tonys will be handed out in June, and uh, currently the producers holds the record for the most uh, awards given out in one night with 12. Jed, back to you. All right, we'll see how it does. Thanks a lot, Mike. Intent